Pseudo root is a piece of string wrapped around a seed dipped into water. This design can be used in existing hydroponic setups and because of its reusability and low material cost, quickly beats the cost of competing products. Pseudo root is simple and can be made by hand. It started because hydroponic agriculture is an attractive, inspiring concept, but is not completely elegant. Hydroponics require either transplantation from a seed starting mix or the use of grow media such as rock wool and starter plugs. So if I want a hydroponic garden at home for growing leafy greens, I need to buy net cups, hydroton, and a slab of rock wool every two months. Amazon is saturated with hydroponic grow media that is far from elegant. Most hydroponic grow media is just a cube of dirt substitute. This video assumes a cursory understanding of modern hydroponics, such as the nutrient film technique, cracking method, deep water culture, and aeroponics. Pseudoroot is the world's first synthetic reusable grow media capable of growing plants from seed to maturity. I call it pseudoroot because the design approximates the form of a mature root system. Pseudoroot required around a dozen iterations in order to discover that plants need neither a solid volume grow media nor the texture of dirt. They just want something wet to grow outwards and down into, as well as some surface pressure on the outside of the seed. This is why it is possible to dip a piece of string, wrap around a seed into water, and observe growth, and with the right weave, a fully mature, harvestable plant. Pseudoroot is not just an interesting experiment, there are numerous benefits. Completely synthetic and low material cost. I built enough grow media for two dozen plants using a single PVC pipe and a few feet of nylon string for a cost per unit in the penny range. Better durability than any other reusable grow media because all components are synthetic, attached to each other, and easily accessible for maintenance. Pseudoroot is rapidly reusable. Soak each unit in bleach and then run water through the PVC pipe. The ability to grow synthetic fabric is useful knowledge in an emergency situation anywhere in the solar system. Pseudoroot is easily manufactured using components that are already in space, in any city, and in most homes. You can manufacture Pseudoroot using the clothes on your back. Pseudoroot is lightweight. Not only is the grow media itself extremely lightweight, the weight of water saturated in a web is much lower than a solid volume, even though both configurations deliver the same amount of water to plant roots. Pseudoroot is the only grow media that exists only where the plant roots are. The actual grow media takes up very little volume. Pseudoroot is configurable. One of my existing designs has the same form factor as most existing hydroponic setups which means growers can implement pseudo-root without retooling. But it's just string suspended in a scaffold, so there are a lot of possible designs. Pseudo-root can flat pack. It can be crumpled. It won't suffer from freeze-thaw cycles. Pseudo-root gives control over where plant roots grow. The plant roots will only grow where there is grow media. And pseudo-root isn't just a solid volume like every other grow media on the market. Plants in solid volume grow media grow in random directions, but with pseudoroot, the roots follow the string. Pseudoroot is mostly uninterrupted space, meaning that for the first time plant roots from seed to maturity can be closely observed. While traditional grow media is usually a solid volume even when there is no plant mass, pseudoroot affords plenty of empty space for a variety of sensors and instruments. Pseudoroot can be dynamically adjusted using very few moving parts. The arm of a 3D printer could not only mass produce complex pseudoroot weaves, it could also allow for the real-time adjustment of the grow media over time in response to a variety of factors such as images, temperature, humidity, and proximity to the roots of other plants. Pseudoroot allows for intersecting plant roots. This is perhaps the most impactful benefit of pseudoroot. Given enough light, as well as bonsai intelligently applied to tree branches, it is theoretically possible to grow a solid wall of wood by intelligently designing pseudoroot weaves to intersect but not touch. For the first time, there is an elegant solution to planting density. Pseudoroot can touch economies and lives on and off the planet, from sparsely to densely populated environments, and everywhere from highly controlled industrial agricultural settings to outdoor passive landscapes and green architecture. Pseudoroot's current form factor fits into the vast majority of hydroponic setups, large and small. This design is a single length of nylon string threaded into PVC pipe. The seed can be woven into the thread before the unit leaves the factory, yielding an attractive just-add-water approach to agriculture that costs pennies to produce. Another problem solved by Pseudoroot is for outdoor hydroponic systems. 
Previously, outdoor hydroponic systems suffered from rainfall because nutrient reservoirs could dilute or overflow. Pseudoroot allows for ideal drainage, meaning buried cracky hydroponics becomes viable for landscapers for the very first time. Pseudoroot can also be used for rapid large-scale rollouts in any environment. Using a solar still designed for desalination and capillary action, an extremely lightweight pseudoroot weave can be unrolled over the ocean. A similar design can be used on land. Pseudoroot weaves can be pre-seeded and compressed tightly for launch before being inflated in outer space. Because of the various characteristics of pseudoroot, such as its weight, shippability, root accessibility, and dynamic adjustability, no grow media makes more sense for both laboratories in space as well as large scale space farms. The most significant barrier to green architecture is the same as in space, weight. It is not the weight of the tree that is prohibitive, rather it is the weight of water saturated grow media that prevents high altitude planting from making sense. If you want to put a tree on a skyscraper, you need a plot of soil as wide as the diameter of a mature tree's roots. Not only is the soil heavy and difficult to install, but the weight of a soil planter capable of holding that soil soaked with rain is so heavy that trees are rarely seen on city buildings. Pseudoroot allows for better drainage, better maintenance access, and a better platform for garden customization than any other skyscraper garden. Pseudoroot is a fabric and can be draped over any building with few attachment points. No other grow media is as structural and configurable as a nylon web. Pseudoroot's unique intersecting plant roots characteristic applies everywhere. With experimentation, a gapless forest is on the horizon. Pseudoroot is dynamically adjustable. With my current design that grows Swiss chard to a couple feet in height, each unit has six string endpoints that attach to the PVC pipe. Using a scaffold motor and a spool of string, new and interesting arrangements of string that foster plant growth can be discovered and documented in a crowdsourced way, which could attract a large community. This product could be sold to educators, researchers, small and large scale growers, and hobbyists. Crowdsourcing and the Tesla data engine approach can be used to discover the best ways to grow any kind of plant. And while a lot of companies are applying algorithms to things like light wavelength and nutrient solutions, nobody's looking at intelligent bonsai below the stem. At the risk of grandeur, human beings only learned to fly once we stopped mimicking nature and started mimicking nature's effects. Pseudoroot, decentralized agriculture, data-driven grow media, just add water.